What is the difference between double and decimal in C sharp? Which one should we use and when? In this video, I'm going to cover quickly introduction to floating point types, their precision and performance, use cases and applications, and as always, I'm going to use practical code examples that demonstrate all their features. If you like my videos and find them helpful, please click the like button and also subscribe. Now let's start with our first code example. We are performing simple arithmetic operations and then we store the value to a double and to a decimal and we want to see if there is any difference. This is our double variable which is called double sum and then on the right hand we are adding 10,000 to 0 0.001 and each one of these variables is double. You can actually use the double suffix D or capital D as this is a case insensitive but you don't really have to. You can skip it. And then we're using the same arithmetic operation, but this time we're using decimals. We are declaring a variable decimal sum, and on the right hand, we're using decimals. You can see the m suffix, and we're adding 10,000 to 0 0.001, and we simply print the decimal sum to the screen and the double sum to the screen. So let's run the program and see if there is any difference. Well, there is no difference. Both these numbers are actually the same, and they are 10,000.0001. And when it comes to decimals, again, we're getting 10,000.0001. Let's quickly modify the code and see how using doubles and decimals to perform arithmetic operations can lead to different results. And then we're going to explain why this happens. Now, let's modify our example and see if we can uh, make our double and our decimal behave differently when it comes to performing the same arithmetic additions, but this time several thousand times. So basically, we're going to create two loops and we're going to increment our double and also increment our decimal and see if there is any difference. Let's start with the double. This time we're going to make it zero and we're going to create our loop. And let's go to zero let's make it 10,000 times and inside our loop we're going to increment our double again by 0 0.001 and again this is double you can use the suffix if you want to or you can skip it and we're going to do the same for our decimal and let's just copy this code quickly and we're going to make this a decimal and we're going to print the decimal sum and the double sum to the screen so let's run the code and see if there is any difference and you can see that now we're getting two different results. Our decimal sum is exactly one as it should be since 10,000 times multiplied by 0 0.001 is actually one. And our double is giving us 0 0.9999999062 or whatever. So you can see that the double is actually giving us the wrong result. And let's quickly explain why. Okay, the floating point types in C sharp are float and double. Why we might get some rounding errors when we're using double, for instance. The floating point types use binary representation and not all decimal numbers can be represented exactly in binary format. Just to give you a quick example, numbers such as 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 cannot be represented exactly in binary. And numbers such as 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0 0.125, and so on, can be represented exactly in binary. However, when you're using float or double, and you're performing mathematical operations, even with numbers that can be represented exactly, you can still get some small rounding errors. This can happen when you use certain types of calculations. And it can happen because of the way the intermediate results are handled. So even if you're using decimal numbers that can be represented exactly in binary format and you're using float and double, you can still get rounding errors. And if you perform numerous arithmetical operations, these rounding errors are going to accumulate and give you the wrong result. So let's see in which cases you might want to use float and double 
and in which cases you should stick to decimals. And these are some of the use cases for float, double and decimal in C Sharp. You can pause the screen and read about them. But the main takeaway is if you want performance, you might be inclined to use float to double. And if you want precision, you should use decimal. And now we're going to go back to some more code examples, which show you how using double for performing some arithmetic operations can lead to errors so that you know what to expect. Now let's take a look at another code example. We are going to perform several mathematical operations. In the first one, we are simply adding two numbers, 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Then we are adding 0.1 three times. In the next one, we are adding 0.1 ten times. And in the last one, we are subtracting from 1 0.1 nine times. So right here, we expect our result to be 0.3. Here, we are expecting our result to be 0.3. Here, our result should be 1. And here, our result should be 0.1. So let's run the program and see the output. And you can see, because we are using double, we are getting some small rounding errors. In the first case, instead of 0 0.3, we get 0 0.3, bunch of zeros and a 4. And the second case, again, we are getting the same number, 0 0.3, bunch of zeros and 4. In the third example, instead of 1, we are getting 0 0.999999 and so on. And in the last example, instead of 0 0.1, we're getting 0 0.1, the bunch of zeros, 1, 4 at the end. So all these mathematical operations introduce small random error, which can accumulate if you keep performing the same operations over and over. Now let's try the same operations with decimal numbers that can be represented in binary exactly and see if there is any difference. Okay, let's use 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. In the first example and all the other cases we're going to use 0 0.5 so let's see if i can replace the 0 0.1 with 0 0.5 0 0.5 and i did that so let's run the code again and see the result. And we see now we are using numbers that can be represented exactly such as 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. And our results seem accurate. We're getting 1.25 and we're getting 1.5. And 0 0.5 added 10 times is 5. And our last example results in minus 3.5. I should have made this uh, 5 actually, let's do that quickly. And the last example, when we subtract 0 0.5, 9 times from 5, we get 0 0.5, which is exactly what we should expect. And as you can see, there are no running errors, but as I mentioned earlier, this actually depends on the operation that you're performing. So even if you're using numbers that can be represented exactly, you should be careful as random errors can still happen. So as long as you are using floating point types such as float or double, you should assume that you might get rounding errors and you have to keep this in mind when you use them in your code. And this is the last code example for today. If you like my videos, please, hit the like button and also subscribe for my channel. Thank you for watching.